Well, Brian asked me to come along tonight, and um, you know, I've been a friend of Brian's for some some time. Well, this is his guitar, so it's really um, yeah. I'm really really happy to be here because um, I think this disease of cancer has touched touched us all in in different ways. Um, for me, I. I finished treatment recently for prostate cancer. Uh, I, I had radiotherapy, 20, um, 20 sessions, you know. Um, I don't know whether it's worked or not, I'm hoping it has. They'll kind of monitor me in the new year, so. But, so it's a pleasure to be here and uh, to take part in this. Right, I'll, I'll just sing, um, I'll do a couple of songs and then I do a popular song that was very special to me because about, um, it's an anniversary of mine today. It's, uh, I, October's been a special month for me. I was 70 years old on the 10th of October. Um, yeah. <laughs> and that's quite amazing, you know, being 70. Um, yeah. And also, uh, I had a big issue with addiction and, um, as a young man. And, uh, I, I kind of stopped, I went into a rehab in 1976. In fact, October the 27th, 1976. So it's my 42nd anniversary today of, yeah, so it's kind of special, you know. Thank you. And when I started off, you know, it was like another life really. You know, my parents had died and I was a bit on my own really. And uh, But there was one, one relative that really helped me. She was an elderly lady, and she lived down in a place called Dorset, you know, down in the West Country. And I used to go and see her, and then I got married, I got, you know, three daughters, they're grown up now, I've got grandchildren. But she became like a mother to me. This, um, she was kind of like a great aunt, but she became like a mother. And every time I used to go and see her over the years, she lived till she was 95, a remarkable woman. She said, have you got that guitar? And I said, yeah. And she said, well, play me that Streets of London. So I had to play her this song. But it's a lovely song. So uh, I'll play it to you.
lot, thank you. Um, yeah, this this next little thing I wrote, it's the first thing I ever wrote actually, and it was really, well it's, it's great playing, there's lots of wonderful songs out in the world, you know, but it's lovely when um, you actually do something for yourself, you know, compose something. Um, I don't read or write music, but I kind of compose this little instrumental. And it came out of a kind of, um, well, I was married for 20 years, and we had three children, we still have three children, three daughters, and then, you know, we grew apart, and um, we, we split up. And I went off to, I took myself off to a place called Barcelona, I've never been there before, and it was a, a magic place, really, and... Uh, over the next uh, over the next couple of years, I ran holidays there for people coming out of rehab. You know, people in early recovery from addiction, and uh, I really got to know Barcelona quite quite well. And uh, in um, in Barcelona, there was uh, an architect called Antoni Gaudi. 120 years ago, anyway, um, he designed some wonderful buildings. You know the temple right in the middle of Barcelona, the Scalia Familia. I think it's Scalia Familia, the family temple. He designed that, and lots of other buildings. Anyway, this little, little instrumental I'm going to play. It was uh, when I finished all these holidays, and I was back in South London. It was one Tuesday evening. I was in my flat in Croydon. It was pouring with rain. And I was, <laughs> I was looking at all these photos of Barcelona. And out of it came this little tune, and uh, I'll play it to you now. And uh, it's called, it's my tribute really to Gaudi. So it's called Gaudi's Castle. <laughs> She's 75 now, 76, and she's still performing and writing songs. And uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, this song's been covered by lots of people, so you might have heard it by someone else other than Carol King. But we all need, we all need friends. It might sound like cliche, but it's so, you know. And what, what's got me through? these difficult times recently, because uh, as well as the prostate cancer, I had, a, I had a tumor on my brain, which wasn't too good. It was benign, thank heavens, you know. So about 10 weeks ago, I had some radiotherapy on that. So, you know, it's, um, and I realize I'm not, you know, I've been lucky really, because these two conditions I've had are treatable, and some people get, you know, terminal so, but to what's got me through these difficult times and what's got me through difficult times always is, uh, are people, you know, people. And that's what this is about tonight, isn't it? People supporting people. So, yeah, I mean, sing along if you know it. <laughs> <laughs> 
And if you don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>